Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of division, specifically how we can use a standard algorithm to understand problems, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a simple problem here, 497 divided by 4. So let me just make sure that we know what each of these numbers are called, because when you see the division problem left to right, the numbers are in different locations. So the dividend is the largest number. That's what you're dividing into. And the number you're using to do that is the divisor. So when we're looking for an answer, the answer to a division problem is called a quotient. But when we use the long division algorithm, we actually flip things around. We put the divisor on the outside, we put a little fraction bar or a division bar, and then we put the dividend on the inside, 497. And then our quotient's going to go up on top. When we are doing long division, we do a series of steps. And I always say to myself, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? If you just remember that silly phrase, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? You can remember the steps for long division. So we're going to divide first. We're going to multiply. Then we're going to subtract. Check, which is very important. If you don't check, you can make a mistake and the whole thing gets messed up. And then we're going to either bring down, or if we're done, we are going to uh, add the, the leftover as a remainder. So let's look at it one digit at a time. When we start with long division, you actually start uh, with the largest digit first. And you say to yourself, can 4 divide into 4? And if it can't, you would move over and you would include the 9, and you would say, can 4 divide into 49? But actually, 4 can divide into 4. So 4 divides into 4 one time. You're... This quotient that we're building here, you're going to put that number 1 right above the 4 because we're ignoring the 9 and the 7 at this point. We're just looking, can 4 go into 4? Yes. Now we multiply the 1 times the 4. Once again, we're just going to put it underneath that 4 in the 100s place. We're going to ignore everything else. Now we subtract. And we're going to say 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, here's the check part. The check part means that this remainder needs to be less than the divisor. If it is equal to the divisor or it is, if it's greater than the divisor, you didn't divide it up, you have to go back and change your number. Or else the rest of the algorithm will get messed up. And then we're going to, so we say check, we're going to bring down, but we're just going to bring down one number at a time. So we're going to bring down this number, the, the 0, 9 is now, we're just going to look at it as 9. And you start everything over again. Can you divide 4 into 9? Yes. How many times? Well, 4 goes into 9 twice without going over. And this is where you have to know your multiplication facts. So now we multiply, not the 1, just the 2, because we're dealing with the 2 now. 4 times 2 is 8. Now we're going to subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Check. Is this 1 smaller than the 4? Yes, it is. So now we are going to bring down, because there's one final number we need to bring down. 17. You start it all back over again. Divide. 4 divides into 17. We need to know our multiplication facts. 4 times 4 is 16. So that's as close as we're going to get. Subtract 17 minus 16. You get 1. Now check. Is that 1 smaller than the divisor? Yes, it is. But we don't have any more numbers to bring down, so our answer is going to be 124, remainder 1. Another way to write this, and this is what you're going to start doing in 5th grade and 6th grade, is you're not really going to write it with a remainder, though it's fine for 4th grade. You're going to write the... Uh, leftover as part of a mixed number. So you've got your one leftover and your divisor becomes your denominator. So you could say 124 remainder 1. You can also say 124 and 1 fourth. Let's try one more example. We're going to divide 7 into 1,346. Now we look, can 7 go into 1? No, it cannot. So now we're going to bring both numbers into play. We're going to say, can 7 go into 13? Yes, it can. Fortunately, it can only go once. If it was one number more, it can go twice. So now we're going to subtract. That's going to be 6. Just going to bring the 4 down. We're going to reevaluate. 7 goes into 64 9 times. That's going to be 63. So we're going to subtract here. We're going to bring this down, and that's going to be 16. So 7 goes into 16 twice, and that's going to be 14. So now we have a remainder of 2. Or you can write it as a mixed number where your numerator is your remainder and your denominator is your divisor.